or whatever that is that we see in the sonar. What, what sonar heading is that? Do, 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 do. Where do I need to go? Uh, do I just need to turn? I draw it secure. You can call the move in, I guess. Okay. Bridge now. Okay. Can we have five zero meters south, please? Thank you. you on the did you uh, put the vert back on? Nope, I did not. You don't need that. There you I go. don't. Let me go up and down. All right, so I need to go ahead. Oh, fish. Hi, Center. fish. It might be easier for you. There you go. And uh, don't forget, we can um, we can rack out the. I always forget to do that. The porch. You rack out the uh, the camera. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Panos. Did you say something? Oh, the lights. Oh, sorry. All right, so I guess we just have to wait, so we'll just wait until... Uh, okay, if we're waiting on a ship move, then uh, if we could look at some of the other yellow corals in the meantime... Oh, my gosh. That would be cool. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, can you change this camera? Okay. Oh, look, another weirdly polished rock. Weirdly polished. Oh, the one in the middle? Yeah, like that yeah. giant one. Right. right. Not shiny, though. So what, you want the uh, Niskins back there? Uh, yeah. And then you have to turn off the other one. Yeah, yeah there you go. There you go. Uh, I can't go down. But I can back up. Of course, there's no yellow ones inside. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, there there's go. something. There you go. There you go. Yeah, so I guess up here we're mostly seeing the Victor Gorgia, Primnoids, and the yellow Paramarissids of some kind. That's a cool little ledge. It's oh. like uh, another anemone down there, too. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. A bit of gorge in the background. If we could zoom on that one right there. Yeah. I'll just. Whoa. <coughs> it's upside down. Yeah. I mean, no. Are we playing a yes is no and no is yes game? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. So those look like two different corals. On the left looks more like the Acanthagorgia we just collected, and then on the right might be some other paramarsid. Now want to play nice. It's okay if this is also like a terrible one to zoom on. Oh, well of course we're with the lights. There is a location. Like yeah. 
probably there the current strong enough that uh, the colony you get yeah. no nutrients anyways. I wonder what this is too. Oh yeah. I don't know what that is. Tiny little thing. Um can look at that after also I don't know if that's maybe a coral or just a base. This looks like a little primnoid maybe. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. A tubule. An another anemone. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh, and the sea star. Sea star. All right, first take a picture of this dragon looking thing. Need <laughs> <laughs> that for later. Yeah, that doesn't look nice like shot. a dragon head. And then you got the fire coming oh out of it. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're totally right. <laughs> 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 they don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see I th it. Oh, yeah, I was like, oh. He's, there goes my goal. Like That's like wild. Like a oh, eel oh, with oh I love this. I'm going to take it. Uh, please do. Oh. <laughs> then send me that now. number, uh, whatever, the photo number so I can get it later. Can we hold position? Uh, go ahead and zoom in. Yeah, I got the picture. Oh, no. Yeah, we're going to need to move soon. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is just a quick zoom, and then we can move on. And no. You can get full zoom if you want, as, as much as you can get he in that has thing a right kind there. Of beard. Mm -hmm. What is all this hanging here like? Ooh, there you go. Ah. Is that full zoom? Just. I mean, you can see, like, the. Are those anything, or is that just, like, stuff? Yeah, no, it does look like there's stuff up there. Um, it's hard to tell from here what it is, if those oh. are... More tiny stolen Yeah, nephrons? tiny stolen nephrons or worms. I, I really can't tell from here. All right. Okay, all right, we can pick it up. Go. Thank you. Yeah. Did you get the picture of the dragon? I did. All I'll right, take cool. another one just for good measure. Thank you. And I'm curious about that sea star too, but so 180, yeah. Yes, I think that was what Lynette said. Neritogorgia. Do you want to come down a bit? Uh, yeah, sure. Like just like five meters, maybe. Five you're right underneath it. And under, right underneath it. Am I still? And you're coming up slope, so I didn't expect you to have any issues, but. All right, that's fine. That no coming down five. five. That's okay. Not a big deal. Do you feel a little help? This one looks like a Ritagorgia bella. So that compared to the Magnus spiralis, is the Magnus spiralis just larger and less tightly curled as opposed to this one? Or is there, what, what's your feature that you're identifying that with? Yeah, not necessarily larger, but the Magnus spiralis, the spiral goes down much more of the stalk, whereas here, the spiral is kind of concentrated at the end. Um, okay. That can, there are sometimes Magnus spiralis that have lost some of their lower down branches and look like Bella but aren't, but I, that one looked pretty concentrated. Whereas the next one, that little one, that's that would be Magnus spiralis. It's not a, um, as Marcus. close to the edge. Not Marcus Aurelius. Did you say Marcus Aurelius? Yes. <laughs> Marcus Aurelius Coral. Are you not entertained? Oh, it's not even 2.30.
Look how quickly it just like turns me. There's a long halosaur, in, or maybe that's just a stalk, hard to say. Yeah, never mind. Bridge, no. Another bamboo coral. Am I pulling? No, you're okay. There's a uh, there's catenary in the, the floats there. Thank you. Yeah. So you're not getting pulled. There's catenary in the floats there. You're not. See if there's anything to see while we wait. Is so that a really? Go ahead. I was just going to ask, uh, navigation-wise, we are heading basically past waypoint nine down the other side of the slope. Is there's that correct? It looks like there's another feature. So there's a uh, another peak uh, to the south. So we're heading towards Bless that. You. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Can we look at a, if we're waiting, whatever is right down out of the frame? Uh, it's like a goldeny, yellowy thing further. Right there, just kidding, it's a crinoid. Or a brazilian. Are you talking about this one by the Wait, lasers? No, this over here. Or over here. This thing? Yep. You can get a quick zoom. Uh, no, stupid current. It actually looks like a brazingid. Sea star, but kind of have a has a crinoidy color. Oh, and there's another one, a couple of them. Look at this oh, chunky. and that other little sea star. Yeah. Look at this chunky. Be like possible to get a quick color. zoom on that. It's a little Patrick. It's got a belly. <laughs> yes, we may. Probably using something we can see now. Zoom in. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. On a coral. Yes. Oh yeah. It's a uh, very. Oh well, I guess it's also uh, like an abluto looking chrysogorgia, so there isn't that much going on at the base anyway. But there is a crinoid there. It as definitely well. seems to be eating it. Okay, that's good. Oh wait, I guess we're still not not moved. Yeah. So that's not a crinoid. That's a. Well, well now I'm second guessing at that too. But, it but is a I don't see the. Here. Yeah, there's a it's crinoid about. there, but I don't see the calyx. You know, like the the bottom mm -hmm. or the bottom. In, in foot looking. See um, part of the crinoid. Yeah, it looks it looks more like a brazingid, but it it, it is a. Definitely seems very flexed in the direction of the current. I agree. Which is more crinoidy, so I don't know. It's very confusing, but I think it's a brazingid. Yeah, I think it's more for a brazingid yeah. than a crinoid. We have a question in chat about, I'm curious what happens to the bio samples as the pressure drops when they're brought to the surface? Do we do, we do anything to keep them relatively intact? Um, no, we don't do anything to keep them intact. They do definitely experience big pressure yeah. changes, but up soon. because they live in the deep sea, um, a lot of them don't have like uh, swim bladders or gas filled chambers that would expand as we rose. Um, the water, since water is a mostly incompressible fluid, um, does not 
really expand when we ascend. So if they have water or liquid filled chambers, those don't change much. Um, so no, the pressure doesn't doesn't actually impact them too, too much. Uh, I mean, it may impact like the proteins that they produce, but that, that isn't something that we see visually. What seems to impact the way that they look and their tissues and um, kind of how healthy they look when they come up is the temperature. So you see that in the, if our bio boxes don't, for whatever reason, seal totally properly, then the water will be warmer and uh, and you can see the corals especially really respond to that. Their tissues will get, especially bamboos, really mucousy um, as a stress response to the temperature. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Synactin is still an anemone back there. Is that a, um, oh, that's not a small rock. It's actually a bigger rock. This one right here, like in the sand? Yeah, I was just like, you know, if we're waiting, yeah. is that one that looks small enough? But I th it might be bigger than I think. It's like 15 centimeters at least. Yeah. And it's in a weird And it's spot. maybe attached to the ground, so <laughs> it's fine. I'm coming up. It's current snow joke. I'm going full, full lat. Really, and it's that hard to move. Well, what's your bias up? Uh, my Z bias? No, your gain. Sorry. My gain, ninety-four. Oh. Wow. At what time did Dwight say we had to be? Around off fifty, I think. Two fifty. Yeah, two fifty. Well, we better find our rocks. I know. I'm. I'm like. I want to get to that, the summity summit for uh, Rob, and also find a a rock as the very last thing if it if there's a spot. Bridge now. Can we have five meters south, please. Thank you. These all look so like grabbable. Uh, yeah, none of them. But they're, they're it's a lie. cemented. <laughs> it's all a lie. Is this a hemichorallium in the triclops here? Oh, yeah, it does look like that. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Yeah. There it is. Calyptrophora behind it. Oh. Nice. Yeah, this is pretty. Wow. Mm -hmm. A nice assemblage up here on the steep face. Ooh. Uh, what in the, what is that? that yeah. is be interesting. Oh wow, this whole side is yeah. so. And that's like that's not covered. the side we have to be at. That's not the side that we're moving to. And there's a sponge that's just okay. out of view on the wide angle. So 
This that it's that's in front of us is kind of the base of whatever this the the summit summit is, right? Um, I have no it's idea. Oh, a Bolosoma sponge. Wow, you can really see in Triclops how extensive this colony or this uh, group of corals is. Really impressive. Regadrella as well. So many corals, you star. I can wait till you get over it. No, it's okay. We're, we're, we're like pretty strung out, so I didn't want our delta depth to get yeah, too big. Yeah, a or lot too of paramecids. Which to is at yeah. this depth um, expected, but I'm trying to get yeah, over. it's a really like distinctly different assemblage from. I'm from really trying down to get over lower. bridge now. At the summit, for sure. I'm curious what that white coral is. If that's Can we just have ten meters skeleton, or I think if that's just skeleton, yeah. It's got Thank a basket you. star on it, a sea star. Or a person, or a yeah, kind of a kind of So was this what you were seeing, like the first two hours of Watch Two, was the same assemblage? The first two hours before you came in? Yeah, absolutely not. Really? So it's so just at the summit that we've really yeah, been seeing. Yeah, the, the paramercy has kind lucky. of exploded. Sorry, I did not hear that. What's that? Well, I just said you're lucky. We've just seen rocks before you. Oh, came. really? Well, <laughs> that's not entirely <laughs> true. <laughs> we, we have different. Uh, Segmentations. We had loads of uh, area that we have loads of Victorborgia. Okay. We had so a ton. That, that was really? the predominant uh, area that we started. And uh, do we have a moment that's oh mostly the dominant wow. UV crinoids? You're good. You can keep talking. And we have four types of crinoids. Uh huh. Uh, two stock to crinoids and two. Oh my uh, gosh. No, okay. we're just we're too far. Can apart. we um if we're waiting? No, it's not just that. It's like it's pushing me. And wait, the, the umbilical. Come back. Yeah. If we're waiting on the ship. No, like. Oh, they're talking. I'm, I've been trying to lateral over. And it keeps turning. Wow, yeah. That's, so that's, is that just from the current? Yeah. Whoa. Then maybe this won't be possible, but if you think it would be, I was going to ask for Niskin. Like right here? Oh, wow. Yeah, just right <gasps> next to all this coral. Oh, look at that triclops. Yeah, this is very impressive. Oh, man. Here, you do it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you want to get it? <laughs> so we also have loads of sea pens. Uh, oh, I think okay. Is this going to be Niskin number three, correct? Uh, yes. Was it very sandy in some spots? It was quite mixed. Okay. Zoomed out all the way, please. So low we out. Oh, down there was a Rosellid sponge. We can talk. Right. Rosellid. We can mark it later. I'll mark it. Thank you. I want to know what this is. Yeah, um, we should look at it. It's a primnoid. Wow, well, look this huge colony of yeah. primnoid. There is a huge basking, basking star, but mimic the color oh, almost. Oh, I think we may have just reached the summit. Yes, he did. Could we z um, zoom whenever, did the Niskin go? Yes. Awesome. Could we zoom on to the right, that um, Primnoid colony? Where? It's maybe behind us now. Um, Unless that's. I'd rather not. N okay, sure. There's also another cool one in front of us. Might be a different kind. I'm trying to get to the uh, yeah, other sure. side of it. Or at least in front of. That's okay. Do your thing. Mm -hmm. 
Did we take another rock elsewhere on further down on our watch? No. We haven't taken any rocks on no the watch rocks. No. Yeah, we try, but uh, we yeah, the, the big one. You're off. Uh, I sorry, I was muted looks... there. Um, I did put one in the box earlier today, and then we tried a second one, and the yeah. second one we couldn't uh, couldn't get a good rock within reach. Okay. All right. So that's where we're at now. So this is this is it, right? The where we just were seems to be the summit summit. Yeah. Yeah. Did you happen to get an altitude on that? Oh, I think this would no. be more of a horizontal altitude. It would have been us. like yeah, because yeah, we were off the two meters or so. Maybe. These all look consolidated too. So I'm moving the ship two three zero this way. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get there. But as you can see. Yeah, okay. I was trying to move it closer to you when you were here at the peak. Okay. Right. I think we've come down a bit since then. Actually, yeah. the, the whole project was very strong current. And maybe we could <laughs> see current, the mark yeah. uh, in the sediment as well. Mm. And where it was stronger, we see that decrease a little bit of abundance of the specimens. Okay. Yeah. When it was more sheltered, we have a little bit more. Okay. Or further down. I'm just going to yes. sit down. I don't think you should sit here. No, I, yeah, because I, there's a lot of... Co You're going to be sitting on all that, that coral colony that we were yeah, looking at. Yeah, yeah. You're okay here. There's no danger. Um, just wait for Atalanta to come closer to you, and then you'll be able to do a little pirouette. Yeah, that's not so bad. Yeah. Yeah. It'll speed up in a second. Hmm. Bridge now. Can we have another one zero meters, two three zero, please? Thank you. You might have uh, enough scope. Possibly. Say again? You might have enough scope to turn around. Uh, you just want to be careful because it looks like there's uh, rocks up to your right. The summit that we were on is actually behind you. Yeah. And so the tether is over the top of it. So if you can come up and then head back north. We can admire that very long bamboo. Mm -hmm. it's the length of Herc, that's a crazy long bamboo. Okay, so it seems the last watch collected one of the paramarsids, which is great news. What is going on? You're, uh, I'm not getting pushed around. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah. Um, Use Atalanta's view, turn a little bit to port. Um, so you're the back of the vehicle is directly at Atalanta. Um, you probably want to come up a few meters so that we make sure we clear the peak um, and then just back up and close that distance. And then once it's we got a little bit more scope, I don't think you'll be tugged around as much. 
There is definitely current. Um, Ooh. A little bit more to port. There you go. Keep her going. You're getting you're getting your slack back. There you go. You might even have the slack to, to do a little pirouette to port. Yeah, beautiful. There you go. There you go. Oh my god. We're goodness. getting it. You have a lot more jam forward and back than you do uh, with the laterals. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Since we're not going to be able to get any other collections before leaving bottom, if we could just, however, is the best way to set up to just look at the, the high density area would be great for a couple minutes. And we have four minutes until off bottom time. Nice. Uh, very cool. Yeah. I don't know if it's Dumbo Octopus cool, but whatever. It's mm -hmm. pretty cool. It's Ooh. definitely not three Dumbo Octopuses cool. The, who saw, the last watch saw three Dumbo Apparently. Octopus. Two Apparently. and a Chimera. What? Right. Yeah, I'll take Coral. Whatever. Actually, I think the first watch, not the first Could watch. Can we zoom here? Is that possible? Going quick zoom. Um. Yeah, that looks like Sibuga Gorgia, maybe, or something, or one of the, the white corals. I feel like I always throw up my hands. I have no idea. This looks like the one that we saw at the very peak of the last summit, next to the shiny rock. I know you're trying, Michael. That's okay. <laughs> That's good. Wow. We we Let's we. Zoom out got close enough to make guesses. Oh, and there are beautiful basket stars on uh, that primnoid oh. next to the bamboo. Those are the gorgonocephalids, which is again a reference to the Gorgon sisters. Do you guys remember which three they were besides Medusa? Uh, here we Zero are, Alley. Medusa's and... Uh, what was it? Stina. 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 Huge, Stina. like, two Stina. and a half meter bamboo coral, if not more, like three meters. Wow. It's really all focused on the left side here. One of our shore scientists was hoping for a zoom up of one of the bamboo corals, the long whips. Come on. It's going to start pulling you. It'll start to turn your heading. Yeah. Oh, can't focus on this no more. No worries. Really pretty um, clip trafora, I guess, down there. Mm. I don't know. Well, we may have to just say. Do you want to swap while we set up for goodbye. recovery, Mike? Say again. Do you want to swap while we set up for recovery? Are you comfortable? Yeah, we can swap. Yeah, well, whenever you'd like to. What a nice way to finish out, though. Yeah. Yeah, hey, quick zoom. Yeah, pretty nice. I think I got 
Those primnoas in the back are just so beautiful. I'm impressed with the size of the bamboo corals, like it's just... Yeah. All right, pull forth. All right, do we want to start coming up? Or? Yep, yep, it's time. We have a question in the chat. What is the white mat on the bottom of the rocks below? I think sand. I, uh, I didn't see anything else. It should be sandy sediment just in the cracks of the rocks. Um, okay. Um, does anyone want to do the math? 30, we can come up at uh, 20, 25 meters a minute and there's 1300 meters should be just over an hour just over an hour is that what they calculated for an hour and 10 minutes yeah okay sorry i'm trying to buy us an extra few minutes i know down here. thanks <laughs> maybe we can push it to i know trevor said never to come up faster than 30 meters a minute yeah i don't know if the vehicle yeah. can do that yeah. because we're heavy yeah, so yeah. We'll, but maybe as we much can. as i want to buy you as much time as we Appreciate can it. You can i'm gonna have to leave in a few minutes that's Good. okay we're Mentally prepared. All right. <laughs> Too bad we couldn't get another rock. Too bad we can't get another oh, rock. Here, let's just take the top of the mountain. Great shots, though. That camera is amazing. I want to take it home. I know. I don't have no use for it, but I oh want to keep gosh, it. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Here, you focus. I'll take shots. It's difficult when it's distant. It's quite difficult, but go, go, please. Yeah. Is it just me, or, or it's just you? Is there a current? <laughs> Um, there is definitely current. Yeah. Um, you can tell, obviously, stuff's going left to right on the screen. Um, it's not overpowering. When it's overpowering, you can the floats on the tether yeah. start to come Amazing. down to vehicle height, and then that's bad. But oh yeah, this shot is awesome. We're not up at the top yet. What's up here? How do you compensate for that current with the ROV? Constantly, constantly inputting. So, so like right now, I've got 50% laterals on constantly, no matter what I'm doing. And then from there, changing heading forward and backwards. But there's always that input to fight current. It's not always lateral. Obviously, it depends on which way the current's coming. But um, it's all manually done now. Let's get right up to the top, and then maybe and then say from there we'll have to say see ya Goodbye. you're getting lots of pictures of this right jane yes okay here you can focus i'll, I'll push wow these primnoid fans are just huge wow this is amazing footage hey squat lobster oh yeah and a shrimp oh, wow. where are you looking <laughs> on the right they just went out of screen oh <laughs> Sorry. This could, um, that this almost looks like Caligorgia. Is there something Are you talking there? about the one with the basket star on it? Yeah, the one with the basket star looks like Caligorgia. Do you want to uh, try and it's zoom or no? I think Do you want to okay. zoom? We're short for time, but we That's can do it quickly. It's all right. Oh, okay. Yep. Nope. No zooming. Nope. Take pretty... Take pretty pictures of whole assemblage and survey summit with our last seconds. Maybe there'll be a nice tiny little rock on the top. That yeah, we can just, just perched. Pick, just pick it almost up looks on like this way. yellow Grab coral go, here oh, has blue tips. It does. Could we look at the blue and yellow coral? Bottom of the screen. Um, oh, uh, look at all the squats. Yeah, down there? Yep. Our last thing. This is our last request. We've collected one of these uh, near Kingman and Palmyra on the last expedition. Is it the one that's kind of upside down? Yeah, they, it's yellow and blue. It's the oh, strangest okay. coral. Was this it one. this thing that's right here on the ledge? With the right, right, this left one here. To okay, you can zoom in, Donald. That there. 
Yeah, very cool. Whoa. We have a collection of it from yeah, last expedition, cool. but um, very interesting. Squat cool. lobster, squat lobster, squat Tons lobster. Actually, this almost looks different than that one. This is like iridescent almost. <laughs> oh, oh look at lobsters. all those squat lobsters. Yeah, I've already counted six. Oh, in the man. Zoom. Incredible. And these are all tube worms. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah. Tube worms oh, are yeah. still in difference? No, tube, tube worms. worms. Cool. Okay, all right. I know we got to go. Thank you for that last zoom. No problem. Yeah, Maybe come on, please, Panos. Okay. There's a, there wow. might be a rock. Right, I don't right think I don't see a rock <laughs> as much as I want to see one. All right. I but thought that was right, right, literally right there on the top with some coral, uh, dead coral. Wouldn't that be hilarious, though? A nice little you pebble. You marked the yellow, and okay, thank you. Okay, that doesn't look like a rock that you could just pick up. No. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, bud. <laughs> what about this big really one in front of us? <laughs> I just uh, don't have the. Next this time we'll bring down the rocks off. We'll use both both arms. <laughs> Next time we'll bring use down both the rocks off. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Ooh. Jelly. Okay, we should probably stop getting distracted yeah, with things. Actually, this is the way <laughs> I have to go, so I'm gonna follow him for two seconds. Okay, there we go. All right. Bye bye, bye Seamount. <laughs> Don't forget, we're hoping for some sharks as we go up. All right, so where do I need to go? I need to go. Asako says not too brimmed. They Gonna looked. Probably pull you around here. Maybe in a I second. didn't get enough look, but they looked like uh, serpulids or something. We have a comment in the chat. Uh, says you need to stop. Or stop. It. There's a. Don't I have to stretch you out? Yeah, yeah, but you put a tether in. No, Sorry? So you put a tether in? Aha. Uh -huh. They all start with S. They always all yeah. start with S. So, Bella, so I'm in line. I have zero six. Okay, so um, can you come up, please? And we'll get our, oh. um, get you. I will, I'm still around the same height as the top of the seamount, so I don't want to go down. Yeah. yeah. Um, you come up and get, uh, yeah, come above me, and then I'll do my little pirouette and take out the, take out the wrap. Thanks for noticing that. Scooch back behind. So I'm gonna put. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hold depth here for a bit. All right, I'm at 20. Above you. No, oh, keep going. Get uh, with this 30 meters. Right, we're coming up. Oh, you want to come up? Come up. No, no. But I want to get it. I don't want to do a pirouette here while we're like this. I'd rather do it like this. Gotcha. You know what I mean? And then I'll just drive out. It's just easier for the vehicle to make that turn rather than... All right, I think I'm going as far as I can because you are kind of far away from me too. There we go. So I thought they were sabellid tube worms, but could be, could have been wrong. Um, for that coral that had some kind of blue blended yellow yeah. coloration, was that also in the Paramarcy yes. yep. family? Yeah, we got okay. it. Okay, there we go. So now we're back at normal. And I'll stretch us out. Bridge now. Perfect. We're coming up off the bottom, expecting to be at the surface in just over an hour. Oops. Thank you. Okay, let's see how fast we can do this. I might have to drop a weight. Preparing to engage auto ascent. Roger that. Um. Okay. We might have to draw. So I kind of did it like a little differently this time. Okay. I tried to. 
Summarize all the fauna. Nice. I might have missed a couple no, sponges at the great. end, but. I love this. This is the first time that huh? I've been like, you know, everyone at the end of your watch do a summary, and I think they're so oh, useful. Oh, clean the cameras. Yeah, I'm sure they are for the yeah dive okay. reports as well. Yeah, they are for sure. Copy. Let's make sure I have everything. Did you hear? In a okay, I brought us homework. Oh, you didn't hear him? Okay. Uh, purple tape. <laughs> purple tape, internal <laughs> labels. He's going to go out and clean the cameras? Might as well. Sure. I was like, I can go down and do it by myself, but it's <clears throat> would be nicer to do it as a group. Uh, so we might not um, have to drop Yeah, away. we'll have to go down soon. Yeah, the, the but I figured we can do some part of it up here. I can also do some work up here while you guys go down and... Because I have to uh, be up here need to the put the sheets the for... Everybody, true. video, I'm going pictures. out to clean the cameras. I'll be back in two minutes, okay? I'm going out to clean the cameras. I'll be back in two minutes. For this. Thank you, Pano. Because you're like, a, you don't want to move it. Goodness you want to lay them out pretty. Gracious. Oh, this that? is a lot of samples. Uh, yeah. Something floating down there. Where? Uh, maybe um, not. Am I seeing things? I don't want to steal you two. It's all right. What are you looking at? <laughs> yeah, okay. What would you like to know? There's something off in the distance. If you all need any help for preparing tape, I can do that as well. Oh, thank you. Is that, uh, that's everything from the stack? Yes. Okay. It's a whole stack. Whole stack. Oh, we got a lot to process. We are going to be up so long. <laughs> oh, it's okay. At least a lot of these are squat lobsters. I bet, uh, I bet Paula and is extremely excited. I love all these. I love all these notes. Will yeah. eat corals trying to escape may float out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like our? Uh, but and then people like sub notes to the will predate on corals like note by the sea star. There's takes much longer than six hours. No need to worry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like our uh, our additions here? <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, whale fall <laughs> six. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's great. I think if you could please, Jane, add their sea pens for me, please. Okay, but we didn't count them. No, That's okay, put like 80. You just yes, spend, spend the rest there? of the ascent putting putting strikes I up. got it, I got it. Okay. Belula. Put so, so long Belula. <laughs> <laughs> Infinity nice. And a heart. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. That's okay. Okay, we'll all right. Maybe we'll take this homework downstairs with us. Um, Do you want me to come down and then come back up to no, just say no, on deck? No, you, no, you stay here. One thing, I did uh, get a little bit, I think I put in the dive status a little earlier. I wasn't aware that we were going to do quite another pan yeah. the way we did. So there's two off bottoms, but the first one needs to be um, removed. I'll uh, go in and do that now. It was like right before we did all that panning of that. Um, I'll get rid of that. Oops. It was before the Caligorgia and all that? Yep. You're Caligorgia. Wow, there's a lot of pages. That's okay. Got it. Delete. Oh, you got that. I got delete powers. Yeah, god power. Okay. Uh, do you need deadline? Heading down to prep the lab a bit, but... I'll hold down the fort. All right, thank you. I'll see you in an hour. In an hour. I also got it in a bubble if you need it. At least we'll get breakfast this morning. What? Why would we get breakfast? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's what we said the last three times. <laughs> We have the pair. Yeah. 
Yeah. The only thing I can see you doing is if you can reach underneath and like grab it, <laughs> but that's silly. Remember, we have to tell them that um, that there sh there will be a dangly probably. Okay. Video is back. Cool, cool. Once again, welcome back to K O E T Blue Water Radio. How many socks did I miss? Huh? How many socks did I miss while I was outside? <laughs> 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 If we're going to say radio, we got to start singing. All right. There was a question in chat a little while ago about how long do you usually spend exploring per session? So this one was meant to be 16 hours and we extended the dive a little bit. Um, the longest dive we've had has been about 20 to 24 hours. And this one was about 20 hours, yeah. Was it? Yep. Another question is, does anyone actively monitor the EEZ? And the answer to that, I do not know. Was that smudge there last dive? No. No, um, it's this dive, right? We yeah. noticed that last watch. I was trying to figure yes. out earlier if it was dirt or like a mucus or something that got stuck on it. It's very apparent in the dark background of the night. Yes, but that's also because I have this light on. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. And now I have it off. This is when the, the singing comes in. Well, that's also true. This is a song of exalted I need to figure out how to do the Bluetooth. Well, we've got some time to kill, and we're getting close to the end of our watch, so should we play food conversation? <laughs> All right, I spy. Okay. Something blue. <laughs> <laughs> You're the winner. <laughs> I feel like the uh, last watch talked about ice cream again for oh a man. good a good hour. <laughs> I didn't hear that well, combo. So guess Trevor talking about It was going to be the gooey. Yeah. All right, this is a fun combo. What about <laughs> yeah, pie great. or cake? Which do you prefer? Pie. Depen oh. Depends on the kind. Hmm. Yeah, pie. What kind of pie? All day, every day. I think cake. I'm is it ice cream cake? Ooh. Nope. Good pie, question. Pie all the way. I vote for pie too. I vote for like a really well made like cake. Like a nice dense buttery <laughs> delicious cake. <laughs> I thought I'm you hungry. were gonna say like a really well made pie because like pie crust is so hard to make. Yeah, I actually make the best I make like very good pies, I have you? to say. Yeah, that's one of my yeah. things that I'm willing to brag about. What? Uh, pie crust I is like ex easy. It is, yeah. You just Wait. basically take a Graham crackers. Pie well, crust. Graham crackers. Off. Off. crackers. That is not the kind of pie. That is some <laughs> garbage. What are you talking about? You get some like quality cinnamon sugar graham crackers. You no, crush no, them no, all no, up, no, throw no, some no, butter no, in no, it. No, no. We're mean, talking. I'm not we're talking. That doesn't like, taste good, but that is definitely not the same. We're talking like buttery, flaky, like I'm really just, good quality I'm pie crust. I'm just gonna say you, that there's Stewart's. eight hours before our next shift, and I think that's enough time to make a pie. Ooh, if I somebody gives me the, I'm gonna try and be asleep. Oh, go, talk, go, talk, go talk to Alex, the chef. I'm sure he'll give you the ingredients if you told him you're going to make pie. Oh, do we have any birthdays yeah, this month? Pie. 
on board? Um, we just we had, had Paolo's birthday. We oh. had some cake then. Oh, you had some uh, some Nautilus cake then? Yeah, there's a lot. Was it crazy? A lot of oranges. Yeah, it was crazy. It was <laughs> great, though. I've seen some funny. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun cakes. Um, what's Raising cake with some Skittles on top. I think my favorite are the um, the cookies that they make. Oh, uh, the chocolate chips? Oh, yeah, so those are good. so good. Yeah. I Pop it the in the microwave for 20 seconds. I heard the Kingman, uh, Kingman Palmyra expedition did not get the chocolate chip. They only had raisin. Womp womp. Stinks to stink. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I just tuned in for that mention, and that was that was really, really sad. <laughs> so sad for the chocolate chip cookies. But anyway, yeah, back to the whole thing. Pie, all the way. Okay, I, all right, so we, we're about 90% pie on this watch, I think, so. Oh, I yeah. think I'll take ice cream so cake. Some people are just wrong, so. <laughs> Some Panos, are just Panos wrong. didn't vote. Panos, what do you think? Pie or cake? It depends. Uh, oh. pie. pie. Okay, pie. I read that. Also pie, but <laughs> Team <good>. Pie. How <laughs> about some baklava? Oh, yeah. Baklava. I'll take that Ooh, over yeah, pie. Yeah, I'll take that too. Yeah. What's your favorite pie? Uh, oh. Good question. Lemon pie. Oh, that's good. I okay. am obligated to say apple pie because my grandma makes a really nice mm. apple pie. Um. Um, 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 um. There's like three in my mind. There's pumpkin. Oh, pumpkin pie. You know what? There's cheesecake. Mm. <laughs> gotta think. Cheesecake you gotta think hard about pie. these pies. Pumpkin yeah, pie no, is better than most cakes I've cake. had. That's it's no, it's not. It I wouldn't say it's, pie. it's better than the no. best cake I've had, but it's definitely better than a lot of cakes I've had. Cheesecake is definitely a pie. No, it's not. Because it has a crust. <laughs> oh, whatever. Ooh, actually, this is this is. A I debate. Like, I like having the debate. Crust is, is having crust is not, a pie? <laughs> is not the necessity, is not the requirement for being yeah. called pie. Yeah, what else has a, what else is a cake, cake that has a crust? <laughs> oh, Jesus, this is so complicated. Um, so I don't know, but a lot of things have, have crust that aren't pie. Sometimes they have crunchies. Yeah, but uh, one of the defining features of a pie is the crust. You no, know, then you have to have pie filling. You just have a crust. It's not a pie. You can't just have a pie filling, because then it becomes like a cobbler of some sort. True. Right, but that's True. What I'm yeah, saying. I'm you're saying not you wrong. Can oh, have a don't even bring cobbler into this because the pie goes out the window for me if you're talking about cobbler. I like strawberry shortcake. I think that's my favorite dessert. <laughs> strawberry shortcake. Yeah. All right, we well, gotta go back to. Has a crust, so it's a pie. More technical question: What is the depth at this location? So we're at 1,074 meters and ascending. Coming up. 58 minutes is what it says. And we have a question about the visibility for the water today. Did you all notice anything different? Um, An abundance no, of marine clear. snow no. and sediments. Uh, that's not so bad. I'd say yeah. it was about similar to the other dives. <gasps> yeah. Oh. <coughs> uh oh, are you Get okay? Get off mic for that. <laughs> He's choking on pie. <laughs> no pie in the control van. You okay up there? Okay. <laughs> walk it off. <laughs> walk it off. It's walk it off. That's great. And Jane, is there a difference between marine snow and sediment? Um, yes, there is. So sediment is usually, um, you know, abiotic stuff at the bottom of the, of the, you know, at the benthos. So we're talking little rock granules, things like that. There can be some inorganic, or excuse me, there can be some organic matter kind of mixed in with that, but generally sediment is what we're talking about when we're referring to soft substrate or sand. And then marine snow can be um, any number of, of particles in the water column, generally um, organic matter that has fallen down from up in the surface or certain uh, detritus from fecal pellets, things like that, flocculent material, um, and marine snow is called snow generally because it falls downwards, so it's going from the surface down to the depth, and that's one of the fluxes of um, of food supply to the deep sea, among other types of things like larvations or, or gelatinous material that catches particles on its way down as well, or zooplankton and phytoplankton, things oh, of that matter. That guy's trying so hard. Let I know. Go. That was an awesome description. Thank you, Jane. Yeah. We they really are trying to keep up with us. He's trying so hard. I'm not sure what that is. It, do you think it's the light that's making them want to stay? Yes, yeah. most likely. I think so, yeah. Uh, OK, 
Okay, well, let's take off the laterals. See if we can come up faster. <sighs> we do have a note in the chat that cheesecake is not a cake and is not a pie. It says cheesecake is a tart. Uh, a tart. Know, I was, I was oh, just we to totally that. ignored I was just tarts. Say, so I was just going to bring that as a like, I'm pretty. If it's not a cake or a pie, then it what is a tart. tart? What is a tart then? It's cheesecake. <laughs> are all it's, tarts it's a, it's cheesecake or are dessert. all cheesecakes tarts? <laughs> wow, say that three times no, fast. Uh, tarts, I think, tend not to have like. It depends. I, I forgot what it is, but like usually all the tarts I've seen, I don't know what else is like a qualifier, but they're on a crust, but they don't have like an edging usually, for the ones I've seen from like a, a, a like Spanish and Cuban bakeries. All the tarts just they just have a crust on the bottom. They don't have a, like a a back crust or anything like that, or a top crust. So, what do you think a flan would be considered? Gelatinous, custard. A custard. Yeah. Thank you. And only, what, 40 minutes to go? <laughs> we just wore out our pie and cake conversation. I think that was a pretty thorough discussion. It was. Yeah. I learned about myself. <laughs> You're having some deep self-reflection <laughs> over here. <laughs> Do you want to change your answer, Jane? No, I'm sticking with cake because... What? The best cake outweighs the best pie, in my opinion. Yes. What? I, I, I would agree with that. Oh. Well, generally, like well, a good well, apple pie. James, I'll I thought you were on team cake. pie. No, I'm on team cake. Yeah. Ice cream cake all Come the way. Come to the dark no. side. <laughs> yes. Cake is dumb. You take your opinion and you leave. <laughs> no, I'm a physicist. These Everyone, are facts. Every <laughs> Let's be right. clear. I am not saying anything against pies in general. I'm just saying cake preference. This is about preference. Um, Jane, uh, just a minute ago, you listed out the animals that we found on this dive. Could I sure you did. Just give us a summary. We have a question in the chat about it. Yeah. So um, this is not an exhaustive list. There's been a few that I probably have overlooked, but I tried to separate it out to make a little summary so that when we make our dive report, it's a little bit easier. Um, in terms of echinoderms, um, that's like the sea stars and stuff. We saw ophiuroids, also known as uh, excuse me, brittle stars. Sea lilies, which are these feather stars, but they live on a stalk. Um, we saw actually a couple different colors of them. Most of them were bright red, some were yellow. <laughs> lots of other feather stars. Um, we also saw lots of octocorals, <laughs> including bamboo corals, um, purple and yellow paramariciids, Baltasina sea pens, Victor Gorgia, those were those purple ones in, if you were still around, um, and then the spiral uh, octocorals, Eritogorgia. Some Chrysogorgia, Paragorgia, the bubblegum corals, uh, primnoids, and some black corals. Maybe I'm getting a little too, uh, no, little too detailed. You're doing these. great. Um, bathopathies, among others. Um, some sponges. So we saw a Regadrella sponge, Tritoplura sponge, and a Rosellidae sponge. And we also saw a couple of fish that looked like halosaurs. Those are the eel like fish that can swim backwards, apparently. Um, some other, I think we also saw some precious corals. I don't think I noted that. We saw some cool stoloniferous corals, which are corals that have stalks that kind of connect along to each other and kind of form these lines. Squat lobsters, lots of squat lobsters. And that's about all I can think of at the moment. That but it's also 3 a.m. for me. <laughs> it's a lot of, it, it's very rewarding to hear that list read out loud because and that's just on the last watch so yeah oh we also i mean earlier in the dive they saw oh my goodness that was just Dumbo our watch just that now? was just our watch Whoa. so before that there were some even more interesting things like um well i guess that's subjective <laughs> uh some dumbo octopus we saw three dumbo octopus and a chimera fish yeah and i had never heard of a chimera before so that's a, that was exciting yeah that was cool we did see a shark off of the boat in the shallow water, so we're wondering if maybe we'll see one as we're ascending. Yeah, that was the first shark I think we've seen on this trip. Mm -hmm. Probably the first big fish we've seen in the water, right? Yeah, but I will say that I haven't really been looking for them that closely. 
Well, our other science communication fellow, um, Brittany, is very excited about whales, so we've had our eyes peeled, but somebody told me it's not very common to see them this time of year around here. Van, this is Data Lab. ROV, could you secure power to the Triclops cinema cam? Copy. Thank you all. It gets uncomfortably hot near the surface. I'm just going to turn off all the cams. Hi, Tim. <laughs> Hello. Tim, are you pie or cake? <laughs> Tim's go. We lost him. Yeah, we lost him. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cake, 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 cake. I think the average pie is better than the average cake, That's but said, you make a compelling point that a very good cake can can hold its own. So I'll take that. All right. Yeah. You know what? That's actually a fair a fair point too. That the average pie answer. is better. I agree with you. <laughs> There's a lot of bad cakes out there. I have to say. So Mike, if you take an ice cream cake and you put it in a crust, is it a pie? No. What? No. That's ridiculous. It's but actually, it has a crust. <laughs> All the oh, that, that does seem interesting. Actually, it sounds like a good idea. <laughs> with that sugar cookie idea that you had. For crust. Oh, with the, oh, for the graham cracker? No. Yeah, graham crackers, sorry. I'm also done with snickerdoodles. Diabetes 101. Like a, snicker, a crushed up snickerdoodle crust? <laughs> crushed up snickerdoodles. Yeah. We have another question. Um, if you could explore anywhere in the world, where would you go? And Good question. Antarctica. Oh. That would be a cool one. Maybe somewhere in the, um, like in this world, some like the Red Sea Mars. or. Oh yeah, I, actually, I was just about to Google that because I wanted to kind of talk a little bit more about it. But everyone. Mediterranean I, too. Yeah, I just learned to scuba dive last year, and oh. everyone I asked um, pretty much told me the Red Sea was one of their favorite areas what to go. What a place to go. I missed out on going some uh, really good diving out in uh, Kwajalein, which is a uh, which is one of the Marshall Islands. Oh, nice! Oh, cool! Yeah, really, really good di uh, dive spots there, and I missed out. How come you missed out? I had duty. I had you had duties. Oh. Yeah, so I had to stay on the hey. boat. Oh man. Yeah, well, it is it is what it is. So when you're saying they had really good dive spots, was it just like the fish in the water or just the clarity of the water? Um, I think that it was both. Yeah. But I also think there was a couple wrecks. Yeah, nice. Yeah, there. Awesome. Off uh off the uh the north end. I will say that the the sand there was like ridiculously white mm. and ridiculously like soft. It it was borderline slippery. Like, um, do you know, like those that the uh, the silica stuff that they put like after they on the roads after they paint like uh, at stop signs and they paint the lines and stuff, and then they kind of put some stuff to make it kind of reflective, but it's also kind of it, it's. I take that back. I take everything just back. It is very much like the uh, the the, the, the silica powder for like shuffleboard. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. kind of like sand, but not sand. Yeah, yeah, that's how yeah. the sand is on on Kwajalein, on their I beaches. Wow. The chance yeah. to go diving in the Maldives earlier this year. That was what? some of the best diving I've ever done in my life. That's amazing. Yeah. That sounds fun. Shout out to Ocean Nomads. That's my sister-in-law's brother's dive company. Nice. Yeah, I'm looking at the pictures Ocean Nomads here. India. So, yeah, those are some of, our, some of our places. I know some people in the boat were talking the other day about really wanting to go to Ant Antarctica. Um, so yeah, it's, on my bucket it, it, list. it's been popping up in my life a couple times. Uh, thought of Antarctica gone. So it seems like a lot of our locations had to do with potential dive sites. I wouldn't dive in Antarctica though. Yeah. But, uh, that's, 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 no. The problem with going to Antarctica is they don't go for two weeks. Huh? Or three weeks. They don't what was that, James? They don't go for two or three weeks. Oh, they like go for like two to three months. There, you're down there for two months. Uh, at least. At least. It's a long way. They're not going to go for two weeks of travel, five, day, <laughs> five days of research, and two <laughs> yeah. weeks back. Is it a lot of, R do they do a lot of ROV dives there? Uh, I don't um, know. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Yeah. Apparently, um, there's three stations. There's one at the South Pole. Yeah. Uh, there's one like a main communications hub where like a lot of the stuff goes with that's where Gabby says she was yeah, at. So Gabby's a good person to ask because she's been there a couple yeah, times. Yeah, that's, that's where I'm getting this information from. Right, okay. 
And then uh, there was a third one. I didn't know what the third one was. James, was it you that was telling us about ROV dives under like ice caps? Um, yes. Yeah, um, they were uh, monitoring sea ice melt from, from above it? and below the surface. That's, all, that's cool. I mean, not cool that the ice is melting, but <laughs> cool that there's a way to monitor it. Yeah. Isn't it crazy, the fact that water, because it floats, allows for life? What'd Wait, you say? So I mean, because when ice free, when when I water freezes, because ice floats, it allows for life. Because if it didn't, it, everything would just freeze over. So when the uh, when the when the top layer freezes, instead of sinking and then causing a new layer to freeze and sink, you're right. If water if out. water was the other way around, if where it, its solid form was heavier, it would it would just sink to the bottom. It would solidify under the pressure. Yeah, and then it would just continue, and then we, there would be no yeah, life. I don't know what the no life part, but no, it's, be, it's, it's one of the things that's going around. That, yeah. yeah, it's because it uh, because it froze on the top, it'll, but maintained its uh, liquid state underneath, right. and it allowed for you know life to quasi flourish until it unfroze. Just a fun fact. Just a fun fun thing to know. Fun fact, uh, hotel pools are often filled with water. What? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know this. As opposed to? As opposed to air. As <laughs> opposed to jello. That would, Which oh would man. be amazing. <laughs> Try doing a cannonball into jello, though. No. 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 <laughs> do, we, Belly flop? do we want to talk about how much jello we've been eating recently? I have, uh, <laughs> yeah. How many have you had there, Mike? I've had five today. Yeah, there you go. Five, <laughs> five snack bags. Oh, my. Here. <laughs> yeah, I found them. I'm like, oh, I put like a couple in the back, so because like no one goes down that far and reaches for that back. <laughs> Nobody checks the very back of the fridge. <laughs> They're so good. They are good. Mm -hmm. Man, we still have like four hours before we get to eat again. <laughs> <I'm so> <laughs> hungry. <laughs> I'm really. I, I'm expecting a pie. Like, it doesn't take I, four I, hours. I, I, I would love I, to make a pie. <laughs> I would love to. I uh. I like cherry pie. I really mm. wish they had the panini. Th like, cherry you know, rhubarb. I really miss panini press. The panini press. What was it? Press. Oh, the panini press. You all were talking about that the other day. I'm not sure what that means. It uh, there was a panini press in the in the in the in the mess in the in the gallery. For like, if you d if you miss lunch or dinner, you could make. It's just always there. Oh, uh, that's that would be like nice. like the coffee pot and the. Uh, the kettle it's just always there yeah i don't think i would trade the espresso machine for it though uh i would <laughs> because coming out here because and then rough. getting like the bread you know buttering up both sides putting it in the panini press <laughs> let that toast up a little and then you know get some cheese and, make it, and then some, some cut up some salami you got some fancy panini going make, on make some make you make yourself like a little grilled cheese or or melt you know Hey, Mike, uh, your next duty is to make a bunch of sandwiches. <laughs> Go. I used to work at a sandwich shop, so. Oh, yeah? Yeah, nice. he worked at. Uh, Sounds like you're fully qualified. At Togo's. It was, like, a lot better than freaking Subway. Or Quiznos. <laughs> Quiznos. All sandwiches are good. I did, I did appreciate the place. I don't think a lot of places, sandwich places, do this, and this is, and it irks me. And the one I'm, I worked at doesn't i love it when you have a sandwich especially when it's like like a meatball or or b barbecue beef or something like that and it's kind of like um, saucy or you know things go a out soggy or something so like what we always did no, no matter what the sandwich was is that you roll it up cut it and then you roll it up again that way you're ready to go and then you unwrap it and you already have like a wrapper so it doesn't do anything so you don't have to doesn't go anywhere doesn't make a mess Right. Guys, we gotta talk about something besides food. That <laughs> was making me hungry. I'm so hungry. Oh, jellyfish. Ooh. Oh, thanks, jellyfish. How hungry oh. are you? Is that from Atlanta? Uh huh. Yes. Oh, my Atlanta. Oh, look at another one. There it goes. All right, all right. New topic. 
Uh, let's see. Favorite video game? Oh, that's hard. Ooh. Hmm. Can be any console or PC. I only get to play Mario Kart uh, in my house. Hmm. It's hard. Right? I like. Uh, I think Harvest Moon, the old the old school one for oh, wow. PlayStation. Oh. I don't know that one. That one. Uh, that was good. Song. That's pretty old. Yeah. I remember that one. I never got to play it fully because I didn't have it. Moon. Yeah, because you had to spend like four years growing your crops, yeah. marrying the town, <laughs> innkeeper's daughter. Yeah. That sounds like Oregon Trail. In my I think I could myself. still hear the music in my head if I think about it. Oregon Trail, <laughs> that stupid game. Oh, that's a great game. <laughs> I loved Oregon Trail. That was, a, that was a great game until you're doing everything perfectly right, and then all of a sudden, oh, you die of dysentery. For well, no you know reason. what? That's what it was like on the Oregon Trail. Yeah, but, but, but yeah, I'm yeah. not actually on the Oregon Trail. <laughs> but have you played Oregon? Trail. What? Uh -oh. it's, a, it, it, it's like that, but zombies. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Sounds ridiculous. It was. Uh. It is. Oh. And you still just die of dysentery. <laughs> you still <laughs> die of dysentery. Yeah. <laughs> um, Baby video live, game. Live through the zombie hard, apocalypse man. only to die of dysentery. There's a lot of games that just have, like, have a place, you know. Or how about Crash Bandicoot Racing? That was oh, a great that one. That was good. That was good. Yeah, that was good. Crash Bandicoot was my childhood. I Dance, wish I would Dance bring Revolution. That back. DDR was one. yeah. Some DDR. DDR three. DDR four. I'm sorry. Sandstorm. Guitar Hero. Rock Band. Rock Band was good. Guitar yeah. Hero. Halo. Oh, the, the dancing one too for Wii. I can't remember what it was called. The dancing one for Wii. Yeah, Isn't you had DDR? to like match the. No, it was like you had to like you held the Wii and you had to like hit certain spots. You just had to wave the Wii oh. around. It was really fun. I used to do it in college. I can't see. remember what it was called. Let's look it up. Probably like Wii Dance Party or something. Wii Dance Party, yeah. I don't know. There's a lot, there's been a lot of good games lately. Well, not a lot. I Just should. Dance. Just, Just dance. dance. Just Dance. That was a good one. Just Dance. dance, dance, dance. Um, I don't know. There's been a couple of really, really good games. I always play Pokemon over and over again. Oh, of course, Pokemon. Which was your starter Pokemon? Um, the very first one Charmander. I ever played. Charmander. Ever. Charmander. It's not Charmander. Oh, it was, as for me, it was, uh, it was Squirtle. Yeah, Squirtle all the way. Team Squirtle. No way. Yeah. Got to be Charmander. Oh, you I guys need a stern talking to. Well, I had Blue. I had blue version so i had to get uh, like i got go. i got, I got no the excuses. title one i was a marine biologist so obviously i was going to choose the turtle okay i was not actually a marine biologist and at then, age and then when my seven. friend had the red one we eventually <laughs> I was say it's seven it's impressive. we all uh, eventually we just did it so we we would have all three each of us so that's why you do it the second game i had was the yellow one where you had Pikachu and you had Amateur. Yes, yeah, and he followed you around. It's the yeah. best. Yeah, that, yeah, was, the best that one. was the best one. Yeah. Well, not the best one. I have one of those. Uh, I have a Charizard original holographic card. It's I worth, think like, I might actually bucks. too yeah. somewhere. Yeah. yeah, so did I. And then like my grandparents moved and they just got rid of stuff. And I was like, "Don't look at me. That was your that was your retirement." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I the saved that for you. <laughs> Well, no, I had a whole like, I had a whole box thing. of them, yeah. I got a whole bunch, too, but that's the only one that, like, stands out in my head because it was, like, when I when I got that, I was, yeah. like, you know, seven or eight years old. It was, like, the happiest day of my life. <laughs> I really just kind of lost interest when they started adding to all the 150. Yeah, me too. I couldn't really follow. I didn't get until, like, Second generation, third generation. I, got, I, I stopped after the second generation because then they just, like, took things and they would, made they, it, a, like, oh, it, this is a... Catch a tour. They went yes. too far. Uh, they just started making inanimate, inanimate objects Pokemon. <laughs> like, this is a yeah. Lampita. I was like, it's a lamp. It's a, it's, it's a lamp, yeah, or it's a cup of tea. <laughs> what? Um, that was a cup of tea, no Thunderbolt. Can any of you guys do the the Poke Wrap, the 150 Poke Wrap? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, that's that's not I know what you're talking about, though. I remember going to get the training cards and, like, going to the store and then like kind of trying to get in the two see if you can feel the difference on a if one's a foil and the other one doesn't <laughs> just like weighing it yeah like eventually the guy just like no, no you stop doing that <laughs> <laughs> it's like just pick one and go 
meanwhile, when someone comes over baseball cards, they're like doing quasi the same thing. <laughs> they bring in a scale. It, yeah. And, mm -hmm. Man, good times. What a phenomena <laughs> Pokemon was. And, and then again do. was in 2017. Uh, 2016 for the... Uh, Whatever it was, yeah. Uh, 2016. For uh, Pokemon Pokey Go. Go. Yep. Yeah. I know some people who are still doing those things. Yep. yep. Good for them. I get back into it every now and then just because, like, so I... it's still a thing? I have money in there, so... <laughs> I really <laughs> missed when that was a thing because, like, oh, watching like internet clips of people catching Pokemon and then walking into a fountain or like walking <laughs> off the end of a dock is like freaking hilarious. <laughs> no, it's funny. It's like there was like a, a lot of like elderly like enjoyed it because it gave us something to do and then they, they could go out into the world and like just walk around and stuff. Like there was this, uh, there's a video of this one guy on a bike and he has like 50 phones. He has like 50 different Pokemon accounts, Pokemon Go accounts and he's just like on all of them and he'll go off into the next gym or whatever. But yeah, that was the closest we ever got to World Peace, I think. Yeah, I, I don't know what, I don't think I have a favorite game. A what? I just, I don't think I have a favorite game. Oh. Favorite video game, I should say. What about favorite board game? I don't have one of those either. <laughs> Well, this has gone nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, there are some ones that I've, I really like. Catan's good. Mm. I guess. I like, you don't like Catan? It's okay. I like uh, Terraforming Mars is also pretty good. I uh, Have you played Mysterium? I have not. It's pretty fun. Have you it's played Scythe? No. I don't it's like... It's kind of like Risk, but it's a little more... It's like, okay, it's a combination of Risk and Catan, where you have to get resources in order oh, to build okay. your army in order to attack yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. You can't just like, oh, it's a new turn, so you get more people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pandemic was fun. Pandemic is awesome, yeah. Pandemic Legacy was good, too, where it was like... You, it, it you, go, you go month by month, and it like... The, changes. The, the game changes, and like, yeah. It's the unique. rules change as you go month to month. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of followed a story. But if you ever play Mysterium, that. that one's pretty good because... Mysterium? Uh, yeah, so it's a co-op game. Okay. And the per one person... Uh, the one person is like, the, is like the ghost. They were murdered. And everyone else is trying to solve their murder. And uh, they get the, the, the only way they can contact you is through your dreams. So you give cards, and it's very abstract art. And uh, they're trying to convey information to you about right. the people who the person place and the object that was used to kill them and each person each player has a different set of people that they have to convey to so it's kind of fun that way and you just sit there and discuss how what was it? code names is fun at the code day. names i like a lot they have downstairs i actually brought it as well so we have Multiples. double deck let's see what's another good one i like trivial pursuit Trivial Pursuit? Oh, like yeah. Regular or, like, special edition types? So. Uh, anything that isn't for, like, the Pokemon generation above pursuit? mine. Like, I, I don't know anything from pretty much before 1980, so <laughs> <laughs> the newer ones. <laughs> I have no idea what happened before 1980. I don't I think mean, anything happened. I think we just... No, but there's, like, a lot of, like, obscure references from the older versions because that was more... Tri I mean, that was trivia for that. It was trivial? <laughs> um, question for the divers, or for the divers, question for the pilots in the chat. Sorry if we aren't making much sense. It's about 3.30 in the morning here. Um, first time watching live feed and love the conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, we have a question for the pilots. Do you think video games can help piloting the ROVs? Oh. Um, yes, but... Um I mean, take a driving game for instance. You know, it, it sure helps your your dexterity, your ability to react to what's happening on screen. Um, but when you crash your car, you don't have to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. It's like it's it's when everything is working absolutely perfectly. 
I kind of want to say yes, but I really hesitate to say yes because it very rarely is going perfectly. Yeah. Like even today. They're like good for like um, there there could be just like some simulators out there. They could help just like Yeah, I've seen R R V yeah. simulators. That'd be fun um, if they have do, you, do they have the simulators where you have to like something breaks down and you actually have to fix it? That'd be fun. Oh, I've never seen that, but that'd be fun, um, maybe. But yeah, I mean they could help um, in some Yeah, aspects. like even today we're having some pressure pressure issues. Pressure issues. What do you mean? Uh, just fighting flow. Ah, yeah, with the current. Um, yeah, with the current and having and to run, you know, laterals at almost full and verts just to stay in place. Yeah, and, and then the, the pressures the inside the in the hydraulic system is just kind of like yeah, changes. You don't have to fight those things in a video game. You don't fight the malfunctions on your car, right? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. My mom learned how to drive on a on a, in a car game, but the one that at the arcade where you have to do shifts and stuff like that. That's how she learned how to drive and learn how to drive stick both at the same time. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. She just like spent quarters. I mean, she would obviously not get any good scores, but <laughs> but that's how she learned to kind of like to drive. And we had a question, where are you all? So <laughs> we are her. Ocean. Um, yeah, in the Central Pacific, just outside of the exclusive economic zone for Johnston Atoll. Um, and we are currently ascending with the ROVs, uh, Atlanta and Hercules. We're at 387, 386 meters. So not too far to go. And physically, we're in the control van on the top of the ship. True. And mentally? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on From a beach in away. Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're doing good. We had a great dive and... Ready to get the samples. The work doesn't end at the end of the dive. The work just begins for our scientists on board the ship. We'll have several hours of processing the samples that are coming up in Hercules. And I wish I'd taken a tally of how many samples we ended up with, but it was quite a lot, I think. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. I think you one, said two, three, like seven three, four, rocks or something? Seven, seven rocks. Seven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, like 23. Oh, wow. Who counted that? I did. Oh, did you just make that up? Did, am I right? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. have my sheet in front of me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that sounded so accurate. You though. sounded like as if I got it right. 23 is a lot. And so some of those 23 will also have associates or animals living on them. So it's so probably going to be more like 30, I would guess, if I, not more. I don't, I don't think 23 is real. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I mean, well, it it's it's, it's it going to be exactly it seems, right. Seems, <laughs> I thought you were, Wait, are you pulling no, my leg? No, he doesn't know. I, I made it. Like, I'm going through my hand. I went and I no, made a didn't. guess. 23 no, is my didn't. guess. Lies. Because I counted the Niskins and then I counted the rocks. Well, what did we start at? And Actually, then I, I counted some of the stuff that was that I know many. for a fact are in the... Uh, I'm going to want to know the exact number tomorrow. In the... Uh, I feel like we started slurps. at 67 and we made it to 91. Samples? Yeah, so it was samples 67 or 68 that we started with on this dive, I think. Oh, What's 91 minus 68? Oh. 21, mm. 22. Pretty close. 20, no, oh, that's 23. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So uh, that's how many samples we have. But again, it, I know several of them have more than one <laughs> organism. So when we take a sample, it's like we take a coral snip. Um, but if there is a brittle star or a no, squat lobster or what count. have you living on that coral, we will... Uh, Subsample that as well. Yeah, that doesn't count. If it was a different sample, it'd be a different number. So <laughs> I don't make the rules; I just live by them. Yeah. So if there is a coral that has an associate on it, does it count as two? We call it the same sample number, but it will be subsampled differently. So we send everything to the Museum of Comparative Zoology for the bio biological fauna samples, and then that's um, at Harvard, right? Yes, yeah. correct. And Octopus. Oh, oh yeah. Did you see where? that? Where? Yeah. By the... It was in the bio... Uh, like, the all up in the bio course. camp. I did see that. That's cool. I'm going to note that. Where'd yeah, you go? we got to keep gone. our eyes peeled. Let's stay focused, because I, I have a Listening. feeling something's going to happen here. 
He got away, right? Yeah, I saw it once. 303 and meters. And then it got right all now. up in there. And then it got, I'm pretty sure it got freaked out from the. Well, we're going up. The sun, so yeah. He, he, would, so. he would have felt the thrust. Yeah. Because we're going up. So the yeah. thrust is pushing down. Yeah. It would have, yeah, it would have blown him away. We got another great comment in the chat. I've been watching these feeds for a couple of expeditions, and the banter in the late night ascents <laughs> are always very entertaining. <laughs> it's because we don't think anyone's listening. <laughs> send, us, send us some good uh, suggestions for conversation. We we have <laughs> we find them very entertaining as yeah. well. <laughs> Next episode, you just like no people coming out of the van going no. Kirk is better than Picard. And some of the reasons why. <laughs> oh, no, no, now. Okay. Oh, no, no. Now we're going to have to have a fight. <laughs> I'm not kidding. If anyone out there has any suggestions for uh, yeah. topics of debate, in we've, the next we've done 15 a lot minutes, of food. So we've please, done. anything besides food because yeah. I'm about right, to start uh, eating my gif leg. Gif or Jif? It's Gif. Oh. Gif. It's Gif. I don't really know what Because the G about stands it. for graphical. It's Jif. It's yeah. Gif. Are you all talking about peanut butter? No. <laughs> no. File f file types. I know. I'm just joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> We've done pancakes and waffles. Omelets are scrambled. Oh, omelets. No <laughs> more food. <laughs> Cake or pie. The other night, I think we did spaghetti, sushi, or something else. Tacos. Yeah. Then we started That's talking right. about tacos. It's like you're not being heard. That. No. <laughs> Story of my life. I'm just kidding. Did just you did you say something? Ah. Is this thing on? Hello. Waka waka. <laughs> oh man, you all are particularly funny tonight. Loopy this morning. morning. Should I say this morning instead of tonight? Yeah, morning time. <laughs> uh. These nights just remind me of the times when I would purposely stay up this late, <laughs> which was crazy. Why? <laughs> for studying? Just or for, for fun? Both. What? <laughs> Woo! Woo! Party! <laughs> Woo! 3.30! 3.30. I think 3.30 has always been pretty pretty late for me. Yeah. In the even, afternoon, even it's nap time. Siesta. We just passed the oxygen minimum zone a few meters back, FYI. Oh, it's moved. Uh, that it's was about lower depth. Or, sorry, 364 meters. So actually, more than 100 meters ago. 364. Sorry. 364. Remember well, the first time was 390 meters. something. Yeah, it does seem to change. Uh, it actually seems like it goes on for a little while. It's like a broader hmm. minimum zone at the well, moment. Well, we know we're getting close because the crew is huddled up on the back deck, preparing for the recovery of the vehicles. Telling secrets. I always like that huddle they go into and talk about whose role, who's going to do what. I heard them doing safety briefing briefings as well. Yeah. Maybe that was just early in the cruise, though. But it's necessary. I mean, I saw the recovery of Atalanta the other night, and it's it's definitely a, a job for multiple people. Teamwork. Fish. Oh. No, oh, that's interesting. Michael, I think it was you and James out there trying to recover the Atalanta the other night, or successfully recovering. Was that us? I think so. Was it? Was it at night, Nate? Maybe it was daytime. It all just feels like one big yeah, that's true. day. See, other people are staying up all night. We have a comment in the chat. Somebody's up studying late tonight. So. Oh, good luck on your exam. Yeah, hope we're not distracting you. <laughs> Two zero zero meters. Two hundred. Yeah, I should probably study more. Problems, problems, problems. Got to do problems, problems, problems. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Ooh. No. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it just it came to me. What about, like, are you sure? It's in bread. 
What, what if what if their bun breaks on the back and it's like two separate pieces? Is that a sandwich? Uh, I'm gonna go. Yeah, off Panos, off Panos agrees with me. Yeah, that's James a sandwich. Dine. Um, it's definitely a let's sandwich. Let's see. Yeah. A sub sandwich. Sub sandwich, a right? Sandwich <laughs> oh, oh, this is a, this is a true debate. Oh now, yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah, I agree. Oh, I love it. Giro or gyro? What else? Is a taco? No, taco's not a sandwich. It's hard shell, right? Soft taco? No. <laughs> Two tortillas? Not a sandwich. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, that looks like uh, ink. Mm. Ink, squid, maybe. Oh. No. 180 meters. Ooh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Are there favorite movies out there? Wayne's World. Oh, Wayne's World's a great yeah, one. Let's go and call it. Oh, yeah. Excellent. First one or the second one? First. First one. Second Absolutely one Absolutely no stairway. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> Don't you just hate it when, when the people sell out and start <laughs> doing a lot of product placement? Yeah, that's a great little scene. Apparently, uh, Dana Carvey didn't know the words about human rhapsody in that, in that scene. <laughs> That makes it so much better because he's just so awkward and adorable. Yeah, and he's just like mouthing weird lyrics. Mouthing weird. He's saying something. I don't know what it is, but it ain't the lyrics. So what does the crew do during downtime and in between watches other than sleep? Study. Puzzles. I was going to say puzzles. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of reading. There's a lot of puzzles. Do there's other work. Sunsets. There's a gym on board. You all get the flash yet? Have you seen the flash yet? No. I, I have exist. noticed the gym is a little less busy now that we're diving a lot more. <laughs> yeah. Has it been too cloudy for the flash? I don't know. I don't believe in it. What? Yeah. It's Wedding a real clouds? thing. The green flash? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. I'll believe um, it when I see it. Someone said they saw it the other day, but I don't know what the, I don't know what it means. It's a meteorological phenomena. It's it's just that uh, it's like it's just like the way the light bends, oh. the light gets refracted. Oh, there's another squid. The way the the light gets refracted off the horizon. We did see in given some situations. Oh, there's wow. a little shrimp. That was a Is shrimp. that the ink right there? Is that yeah. what you're saying? There it is. Oh, That's cool. a squid. You can zoom in well before he moves. Zoom. Try. R no, oh. we didn't need to zoom in. It came right at us. It came right at us. It came right at. Oh, there the moon Oh, it's like a little, it's a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shrimp. Uh. Oh, he's gone. That was your cup coral sound. <laughs> <laughs> little baby. Oh, my God. We're not as deep. This thing's aggressive now. All right, almost there. 126 meters. Oh, man. Hey, is there more of them? Yeah, there's a bunch of little squid there. This board is very chaotic. There's a lot going on up there. Yeah. Anyway. But yes, the flash is real. It seems like we have... We Engaging lot, manual ascent. All right. Preparing to come all stop in three zero meters. Five zero. Oh, oh, there was another one. Michael right. James, you just let us know when you need the peanut gallery to be quiet. Well, I'm peanuts? Again? <laughs> Did he just Mom, middle name me? What'd you say? I said Michael James. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, you <laughs> middle, middle name. Name. <laughs> like, You just what totally made I? up your middle name. <laughs> yeah. Well, my my middle name starts with the J. Oh. So I thought I'd, I just heard J. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, what, excuse me? No. What's that noise? Uh, Is somebody know. playing the typewriter? But, it, but it's jamming. <laughs> Someone's going with the spoons. <laughs> Is that one of our fans malfunctioning to Probably, the music? Probably, yeah. <laughs> well, something's blowing around in the push core area. 
Oh, yeah, no. Don't worry about it. No, it's nothing. Oh, yeah. Don't pay no nope. attention. Yep, no, it's nothing. Oh, push cars. We didn't, I don't think we had any. Logan, what's going on over there? <laughs> hello, hello. I don't know. <laughs> I Maybe that's a malfunction, but it's such a beat. So, like, how? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so enjoying it. <laughs> I thought you were just drumming around on your no. head. Yeah. It sounds like somebody's alarm, actually. Oh, oh. that could be. Oh, that's definitely what That's a squid. squid. Hello, squid. Ooh, squid guts. But there's a lot of stuff right now. Mm, you know what that means. Sharks, we're at, um, apex predator. I think that's mostly ink, though, no? Hey, zoom in on that. Ooh, very Ooh. nice. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I like it. Stop moving. Hey, oh. He's... It's no, don't pink, swim towards pink us. Pink and yellow. Don't swim towards us. All kinds us. of colors. That's ink. There's a lot going on in that water right now. <gasps> um, when we were in the CCZ a couple years ago, we were following the migration up and down with the daylight, and we found that about 3:30 was where they were at the top near oh. the surface, and then they s started to descend. Approaching again. five zero. Roger. All right. Well, thank you all. I don't know if that's the same thing we're seeing here or not, but five, five, six, four, three, two, one. Come on, I'll stop. We're stopped there. I'll stop five zero. Probably leave some lights on so I can see. Yeah. Do you want the radar uh, radars and stuff on? Sonar? No. Uh, this that's the uh, radar. Uh, I meant sonar. The radar. Yeah. The underwater radar. Uh, we have to stop that. Sound. Make sure to push stop first. Stop. <coughs> Does it stop both of them? Sure. Yeah. Make sure to be first. I was about to turn off the, like, oh, I'll turn off the hydraulics. <laughs> we don't need those. Yeah, I was just like, oh, I guess we can turn these off. Wait, no. Intentional dead sub. <laughs> Not a good idea. Drill, drill, drill. Drill, drill, drill. <laughs> Run. Two five meters. I will admit, by the way, that was definitely my alarm. Was that the alarm? Yeah, it was my alarm. <laughs> <laughs> it was an alarm, eh? That's why it was such a beat. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but on some phones, some of the alarm songs that they have are like just like, you just want to let it go. 
I had one of them. I was just like, yeah. Until my partner got mad. <laughs> this is jamming, though. It's one five meters. One oh, five till might, Atlanta's on the surface. You, you might make it. You might get the dodge, dodge of that. The field goal. Oh, it's gonna be a. Oh, the vehicle in the. Oh, I misunderstood. I thought the field goal was at was Atlanta coming up, like right between the wickets. And I was like, it's well, kind of hard to miss. It's so heavy. It's <laughs> 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 like I don't understand why you got what. No. Oh. Okay. It's you. Well, now I'm gonna try. It's you. And Lena's it's always gonna me. show up between the things because it's attached to the cable. <laughs> so is so is her. But there's a tether. <laughs> I know what you mean. In silence, okay? It's 4 a.m. Seven meters. Technically? Oh, yeah, it is. Silence! Okay. Have you seen a ventriloquist named Jeff Dunham? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's got a... He's, got, he's got a few guys that are so funny. And it, oh, man, this is going to be cool. You can see the bioluminescence on the boat. That's so cool. Am I coming up? Nine meters till my field goal. Talking to me? I don't need it. It's. Oh, okay. Sorry. Three points. Almost. Going offline to prepare for high vault security. Thank you. Bridge control. At control, this is the bridge. Can we hold position, please? Copy that. Hold position. Can you, uh, Mike, can you turn off the aft lights on the vehicle? Thank you. I think that'll help me recognize the heading of the vehicle a little bit better. Um, it's okay for now. Uh, sure, we can try. Um, no, we can go back. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> She's so <laughs> uh. no. Oh, she's got the big she's got the big bucket out, so she's going for that speed record. 
<laughs> I'll make it easy for her and keep it a little slack. Control van, can you get uh, Herc just to uh, give a kick ahead there? Just come and uh, come Roger. back towards the start there. Roger, kick ahead. Roger. Roger. There we go. Saw that. Sorry again, that's uh, Herc drifting back towards the vessel. We're still uh, waiting on the, trying to catch up on the line, the crane. So you can just Roger. give it a kick ahead. Kicking out. Mm. Driving ahead. Roger. All right, I'll stop in the kick ahead. That's just uh, a good connection on Herc. Roger. Control copies. Page copies. Go on, get under the crane. 
Get there, get there, get there. Come on now. Okay, let's pivot. Oh, don't wait, don't wait. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. All right, spin. Drive forward. Come on. Okay, uh, midships uh, on the screen. Control copies. Bridge copies. Take off uh, to do to do to do. Okay, I'm gonna shut off high, high voltage. <laughs> 